Hello, Pastor Taylor here coming to you from Christ in Pewaukee uh, with campuses in Aaron and in Wauwatosa. What uh, Bible character would you say that you identify most with? Out of all the Bible characters that are in God's word, which one stands out? Maybe you thought of the Apostle Paul, maybe not. When it comes to the Apostle Paul, he had quite the past. It was a scary past, actually. He was a blasphemer of God's name and a persecutor of God's people. And he was a very violent man. He had quite the past. Maybe like you, but probably not even close. And yet, when he talks about himself as a sinner, when he talks about himself even as the very worst of sinners, it's kind of interesting that the Apostle Paul doesn't say that I was the worst of sinners. With that kind of past, you might expect him to say, wow, I was quite the sinner back then. But in our text today, from God's word, we hear the Apostle Paul talk about himself in the present tense. I am the worst of sinners. For to the Apostle Paul, even at that time, during that day, when he wrote under inspiration of God's, uh, by God's spirit, he said, I am the chief. I am the worst of sinners today. And it's because he appreciated God's grace that day. For the Apostle Paul, who knew himself better than anybody else, he also knew and appreciated God's grace that covered over him, that was poured upon him, also poured out on you and on me too. There's a, a classic hymn, Amazing Grace. It was written by John Newton. John Newton has a couple stories about his life. And he, when he talked about heaven, he said there were going to be, in his mind, three wonders when he got to heaven. First of all, he said that there were going to be many people he did not expect to see there that are there. The first wonder. The second wonder was that there were so many people he wish he wished would have been there but weren't there. And the third wonder for John Newton was that he would be there. That was a wonder to him, that God in his grace would, would make sure that he had an inheritance in heaven forever. To him, God's grace, to us, God's grace is amazing. And that made the Apostle Paul excited for service. Didn't make it easy. Service in God's kingdom and to Jesus Christ doesn't it isn't easy, but we are eager to do it, motivated by God's grace. Because God, who has done a miraculous thing by giving us faith to believe in his grace, can do many more wonders, wonders of his grace and mercy. As we see it in Paul's life, and I hope and pray you see it in yours. A lesson from 1 Timothy chapter 1, beginning of verse 12. I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength, that he considered me trustworthy, appointing me to his service. Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. But for that very reason I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. Now to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, and the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 